Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Maz, how are you doing? I have... Hold on, let me bring my face into this scene. I'm so... Hold on, here we go. I'm here, I'm right here. Hold on. Three. There we go. Hello. I'm so not in the mood to do my work, so I'm doing it very slowly. I I understand that. I understand that. What have you got to do? Assignments? I hope that I can provide some background for it. Some background noise, at least. Um, I am going to just be rambling for a bit whilst I set up some things. I've been trying to set up a, um, a stream Tumblr for quite some time, so I'm going to do that now. Um... One from the video is exclamation mark. There we go. Cool stuff. Save that. Edit appearance. There we go. Plan and section for two precedents and also maybe concept drawings. I've simply not thought about the design for my floating theatre. Like on water? Or is it like futuristic floating? That's cool. On water. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I mean, I I can offer suggestions, but I have no idea of the the brief or anything like that. I could be like, it could be something like uh, styled off like a life ring, and it's like a uh, an amphitheater style, and it's circular, and it floats, and they all perform in the middle, and the seats are all around the outside, like in the good old days. But I'm. I'm talking rubbish. I don't know what you what you're needing here. It could be styled like a ship, and at the back of the ship are the seats, so it looks like the captain's quarters, and at the front is the stage, which is the deck where people perform. But I don't know. I could be talking that absolute rubbish. It could be that the seats are on the boat, which is docked, and then across the water is the floating stage. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? Two precedents. Two precedents in architecture. Precedents. <laughs> Great. Precedents in architecture, fourth edition, provides a vocabulary for architectural analysis that illuminates the works of leading architects. I want to know what the precedent is. What is precedent research? Is that... Similar ideas. Is that what it is? Like a, a brief idea. Yeah, reference piece. Cool, I'll take that. Uh, right now, one of the precedents I've chosen is the stage design for the memory theater of... Should I get up a... Whilst we're, we're discussing it. Oh, I looked right at the camera for that one. Let's get browser view up. Hold on, I'm going to go into studio mode. I wish there was an easier way for me to preview what's going to show up when I do this. Perfect. Great. There we go. The changing face of the pug. Um, let's put you over on this screen here, Maz. And then... Julio Camillo Memory Theatre. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is this what we're looking at? Theatre of Memory. Um, oh, I need to put the right date in. Hold on. Uh, which happened in the Brooklyn Bridge Anchorage. Nineteen eighty-seven. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there it is. This thing here, like the, like just the platform. I feel like I need more than, more than that as a, an understanding. The two bridge structures, sure, fair enough. So they just go across the bridge. Um, 
but I but like I spent an hour crying and sobbing because there are no pictures of the inside. I see, right? So there's me going like, can can I see like what it looks like? And you're like, no, no, you can't because there's actually no no evidence. I mean, people have got to sit somewhere, right? I mean, it looks really cool. The memory theater of Julio Camille. It looks cool, but I'd kind of like to know where people sit or stand or see. Do they go up there? Uh, this explains that these are the architects that did it below. Um... Giulio Camillo was a 16th century architect philosopher whose explorations of human memory led him to construct a memory theatre that possessed magical powers. Those who entered it would emerge with a memory of all the knowledge of the world. A, co a, com 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 a Commedia dell'arte troupe, directed by Matthew Maguire, guides an audience through the labyrinth in the Brooklyn Bridge Anchorage vaults, the path of Camillo's mind. The installation theatrically spears three successive chambers of the anchorage with two discrete structural units that cantilever towards one another, one another but never meet. Three chambers of two bridges but never meet. Exploring the aesthetics of danger, the installation produces a Janusian moment, a gap which is no longer here but not yet there, a synapse that can only be bridged tentatively by the stride. The structure is tensioned in place against the thick masonry walls and apertures of one bay of the anchorage. I should probably put after. Oh! Open my face! Thank you very much, Total, for the resub. Good monologue to you as well. Let me put out a going live message. I am live with some exploration and more exploration there we go thank you very much for the resub total how are you doing this fine morning you've had a little bit to wake up now so i hope you're you're feeling more awake um how is it going uh c c they look up at the performance gosh that's gonna be uncomfortable isn't it um commedia dell'arte is like an italian improv theater discipline that's kind of cool I mean, yeah, like, it's quite a long way to look up. And it's just, what, three rooms with bridges in? Kind of cool, but... And your plan is to make it float on water with three bridges? My idea, as a, a non-architect... I knew I spelled that wrong. Is to have, like, like an amphitheatre, you know? But imagine this on a life ring instead. Um, first coffee consumed, very good, very good stuff. Let's see if I can get paint.net up and, and reimagine this. Did I just do it on MS Paint? Yeah, MS Paint's probably better. Do, 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 do. Paint, there we go. So, we got... Okay, let's do it in the right colour for a life ring. This is a life ring. Imagine it's a life ring. Okay, that's what a life ring would normally look like. But instead, in this one, we have walls going around it. Imagine that's 3D. Maybe there's an entrance here. And then the seats, you can see my vision here. The seats go around like this, and the stage is in the middle here for people to perform. I think that's a work of art right there. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, though. Oh no, I just picked this one because it was the coolest. I like contemporary theatre spaces because I think amphitheatres... Oh! Oh, my heart! And traditional theatre styles are kind of boring. Fair enough, I do understand that. I feel like you would have to have something for their necks if they're looking up. Maybe deck chairs. Maybe deck chairs would work fine. Morning, Molly. Good to have you in. How are you doing? Alternatively... Mm, yeah, traditional theatre styles. I wonder... Theatre styles. See if we can find any. Oh, I don't know. I want theatre layout styles. Types of theatre stages. Oh, this is. In the round. Yeah, that's kind of what I think is cool. 
but yeah, I still don't know. They're not really giving me a lot of breathing room to sit and think properly. When is it? When is it due in? Uh, that's what my dad suggested. He also said to model it similarly to a warata flower. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Yeah, I think that would look very, very cool. You could have it like a lily pad kind of thing. Lily pad. Like, look at that. That would be kind of cool, don't you think? Have like, floating on water. Um, Playing way too much Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, I think everybody's been telling me it's enjoyable, so fair play to you there. Um, Did you pick an origin character or did you make your own? Uh, hey Johnny! Hello Jell, welcome on in. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in Jell. Welcome in. Um, good to have you in. It's my studio project for this semester, so I'll be working on it until the end of semester. Okay, which is a little bit of time. You got time for it? I don't quite know. I'll turn that up a little bit. Welcome in. Welcome in Jell. Um, I have a, a slight point to make is that I have been looking to have some kind of social media presence ever since I have deleted, let me put my face back on, um, deleted Twitter from my phone and I have no Instagram and I have nothing nothing no way of like actually being online so i have created a tumblr for streaming specifically and i'm probably just going to post nice pictures of art so if anybody has one then it's the same name it's monologued you'll get me but that's just a little side note a custom character playing a wood half elf fighter that's kind of cool that's kind of cool half elves are the most played uh origin in Baldur's Gate, apparently, so far. Um, like November, but there are assessment deadlines I have to meet in September and October. Br brutal. Uh, Maz, at some point, I'm happy to go and bounce ideas off you, but I do not know a thing. The first thing about architecture, I can just give you unprofessional veterinary opinions. So, yeah. Uh... I'm doing excellent. Just signed up for a 10 week mandolin course in traditional music. Jell, you do something cool every time I speak to you. It's like, oh, yeah, she's gone for this. Oh, yeah, she's gone for this. Like the newest instrument in, in town. I love it. Um, I also love seeing your, your music that you share in the swamp and stuff occasionally. Very, very cool. Oh, hell yeah. There he is. Hello, SK. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Um, I think Joey's a big Tumblr user. I think so. I know uh, Nick P once followed me on Tumblr, and then I don't know if she did anything more with it. But um, but it's there. If people want it, if people want it, it's there. That's all I'm saying. Because I mean, hold on. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna see if I can share it without fully doxing myself. <laughs> Just working out how to do it safely. I think that's got everything. Like, okay, cool. Transition. Studio mode off. There we go. So you can see here. Look at this art. Isn't that pretty? So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna start doing. Just putting art up there. Because I I reblog a lot of art normally, so I'll do it. I'll do it onto there instead. Um, uh, SK monologue. Do you seem like a cultured person? Are cosmopolitans good? Are cosmopolitans good? Cosmopolitan. I'm yeah. I'm I'm a very. Um, I'm a cultured person. Oh, that's my, my Tumblr again. 
Ooh, crime gone. There we go. Cosmopolitan UK, the women's magazine for fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Uh, Cosmos cocktail, I presume. The drink. Um, I had to use Tumblr at one stage for uni and was worried it would be more complicated than WordPress. I was pleasantly surprised. No, it's quite it's quite easy to use. A cosmopolitan, or informally a Cosmo, is a cocktail made with vodka, cointro, cranberry juice, and freshly squeezed or sweetened lime juice. I mean, you can't go wrong with lime juice. Cranberry juice is quite sour, but it's nice, isn't it? Cointro is orange flavored. So I'm sure if you're a big fan of citrus, SK, it'll be very nice. Um, I hate to break it to you, as cultured as I may be, I don't drink, so I don't know. But I'm sure it would be nice. Is there a cosmopolitan mocktail? Cosmopolitan mocktail. A monologue, or informally, a mono, very true. Virgin Cosmopolitan Mocktail, there we go. Oh. View partners. There we go. It looks very Christmassy based on that. It's easy, it's low sugar, it looks great, it tastes great. It's cranberry juice and lime juice. I'm, I think it'll be quite nice, SK. Um. I'm going to be honest, it would probably be bitter, yes, but I like that sort of stuff. It looks pretty okay. It looks okay. I think that would be good. Why, have you got one lined up for you, SK? I like cranberry, then you're, you're set at that point. If you like cranberry, I think that's the drink for you. Yes and no. Favourite drink at this bar I go to is a whiskey sour. Leave me alone, please! Bur bur bourbon, that's how you pronounce it when it's the alcohol, right? Lemon juice, sugar, angostura. Bitters. Herbal alcoholic preparation. Herbs. Fresh egg white. Ice. Lemon. 50p size piece of lemon zest. Jelleth of the Jelleth channel. Welcome, welcome in. Absolutely. Um, like citrus bitters. Thank you for clarifying, but I've never heard of a bitter, so this was my first understanding of it today. Uh, I may have done some Darkwood and Sesh, and it's still ongoing. I can get some wee shots of Cosmo for a quid. Dark Wood. The game? Oh, Darkwood and Sesh. Like, I see, I see. It's still ongoing. Hey, if it's, if it's going, go for it. Uh, I'm endgame Elden Ring, apologies for my distraction. No worries at all, Coco. Get it done. Get it done on this Sunday morning. Hey, Johnny, if you're slipping in the speakeasy on the 23rd and 4th, you got to go into the library and push the bookshelf at the back in, and you'll see a door, kid. You got to say, Johnny, send me, and they'll let you in. Order a Cosmo for the best goddamn drink you've had in your life. How's that? Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Um. The egg white makes a froth on the top. I skip it when I make it at home because I can't do it properly. Alas, my cocktail making abilities are still in training. Hey, you can get there, I'm sure. I'm sure. When I read ER, I had the fear. I was a little worried too, but I I, I worked it out pretty quick. Med, yeah, med check for anyone that hasn't had it so far. Oh, I think I had a recipe up on the screen and you, screen and you didn't see it, but that was that was what I was looking at. I was looking at your your recipe there, Molly. Today, folks, what I'm thinking is we do jump in to a bit of Outer Wilds. But I think rather than jump in and start exploring new things immediately, I think it might be useful to have a recap of what actually has been happening. Because there's quite a lot that happens in Outer Wilds, and it would be nice to, to get over like, what have we been missing? 
What, what, what have we all missed? Inner Tames, exactly. That's a good... Ooh. That's a good, a good one, Jill. That, that's a, that's a good one. I could use that for something. Hold on. That's a good one. Wow, I have to go like properly down for that camera. Hold on. Good one. Use that. Ooh. There we go. Maybe I can wait. See if I, that camera is so low. Where's this one? Oh, is this one for knitting? I had I had this one all along. I didn't have to go so far down in my seat. I'm right here. I'm I'm here. That's a good one, Jill. There we go. See, I, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. Uh, I'll be watching without sound for now. Got to keep up keep up the Baldur's Gate grind. Nice, nice stuff. Uh, I don't have too long today, so. Um, I'll be on for a short one, and that's why I thought it would be perfect to do a little bit of a recap about the worlds. Right, let's get this going, though. Sorry, sorry to you folks that wanted the, the sound. So, I also, as a note, did get the DLC. Fantastic shirt, by the way. Thank you very much, Total. It is a new one. Um, I'm wearing it to a barbecue at some point, um, which is quite exciting. Um, thank you. Also, I don't know if it's unreasonably warm where people are, but it is here and I'm uh, struggling. I might put my hair up at some point. Certain parts of Echoes of the Eye can be intense for some players. If they become an obstacle to your enjoyment of Outer Worlds, a reduced freights option is available in the gameplay menu. Thank you for supporting Outer Worlds Ventures. A new museum exhibit is now available in the Village Observatory. Well, we will absolutely go for that. Okay, let me put my screen on. Oh. Wrong screen. Do we we have it this way around for After Worlds? Is that right? Well put me on the other side. Pick hats! No way a mono stream. It is indeed. Welcome on in, my pal. Too warm. Too warm. I've got the window open and it's open a bit more. Well there's a fire up. Um but it is too warm. And you do hear Outer Worlds. Turn it up even more so you can hear more Outer Wilds. I love Outer Wilds music. How are you doing, Kit Cats? It's lovely to have you in here. Jell, I'm very pleased with that. That's a good one, Jell. Oh, Brill. I like that. I'm not even going to watch anymore. I'm pleased with that. Um, right. We resume expedition. See how we get on. Thank you for the clip, Jell. Always appreciate clips. Okay. Right, so first things first, we're back in. Like high slink. I keep getting killed by oh wait, my way. I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Okay. We'll sleep, thanks. I'm gonna have to remember how to get into stuff like this, but there's a new exhibit at the museum, so let's go and check that out, shall we? Um I'm covering a manager's shift at work and it's becoming a very stressful day. I hope everything's okay, Kit Cats. Um are you in a near managerial position now. That's pretty intense. Um, I was playing some Project Zomboid last night for the first time in ages, it was fun. Gel, I was playing, oh my lord, water's loud. I was playing some Dungeons and Dragons last night and I saw you start playing Project Zomboid and I crave it. I crave it. Every time I see someone play it, I crave it. I love Project Zomboid, I find it very, very fun. Um, 
So just let that be known. Have you seen the updates they're doing to it, Jill? The the planned updates. It looks very very good. I keep up to date with it. Uh, this one person uploads like videos on YouTube of what's about to happen next in Project Zomboid. I find it very very fun. Okay, so for those of you that weren't here before, um, when we originally came to this area here, this statue was closed and facing the wrong way, its eyes were closed, and when we left the eyes opened to look at us. So this is a statue of the Nomai, who are an ancient civilization that maybe lived here before us, maybe didn't, who knows? Um, we'll get into that. Uh, TV TVs kept blasting the Better Call Saul theme really loud. <laughs> Have you got mods on? We must game. Yes, we must. No, I haven't. Give it a look, Jill, if you're interested. If not, I can go through it in a bit. And if you're not, then you can also not pay attention. It's fine. I have manager in my job title, but no, I just asked to... I, I was asked to because I've covered senior shifts before. I hope you get paid more for that. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, look, look. You've got to see this. The no my statue's eyes are open. They are... It used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they've opened. I'm not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news! Did someone tell Gabbro? Maybe Rybeck? Oh stars, this is so exciting, it's making my stomach hurt! Yeah, well, I, I actually I actually saw it. Steen! Welcome on in, pal! How are you doing? Good to see you at this, this bright early time. So, where is the new exhibit? It said that there's a new exhibit opened at the observatory. So, we've been here before many, many times. Now we have the new DLC, so there could be some more bits and pieces to it. Which may or may not be true. You map. Oh, I think we've seen this before. Seen that before. Been there before. New exhibit. New exhibit. That'll be the new exhibit. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space. Thank you very much, Steen. I am into that kind of thing. Let's get it done. Also, why? Very much. Steen. Shoot. Uh, radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day, still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Okay, pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Thanks for that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. How are you doing, pal? Lovely to have you on. Um, I saw you playing a bit of Resident Evil yesterday, is that right? I was I was deep deep in a D&D session, having a lot of fun. Um, terrifying my players. Right, let's hop down. And what we'll do is we'll get in the ship and we'll just take a read through everything that we know so far. Just so we're, we're fully caught up, we know exactly where we are. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's start somewhere... Over here, shall we? Nope. Where where can we start? This us? Okay. Timber Hearth, the one and only Hearthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The know my statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flashed before my eyes. That was the first thing we did. Uh, Hal says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Hornfell's best efforts. Well, it has now. Uh, I was indeed 
Uh, I was on the Steam Deck and didn't know what to play, so I started a Claire playthrough. Nice. Oh, I should have jumped on. My Steam account has very little progress, unfortunately. Uh, a cave at the very center of uh, Timberhearth. Oh, I see. I was doing Dungeons and Dragons, not Dead by Daylight, if that's what you meant. Um, yeah, I was doing my, my D&D campaign. That's what it was. Uh, we're playing Curse of Strahd, and we're quite far through. Okay, a cave at the very center of the Timber Hearth. We've done that one, that's fine. Gabro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Fine. So there could be something at Giant's Deep. Um, a Nomai device created to pinpoint the source of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Where was this? Was that on... Let's just do a, a couple little bits about. I think that was on the moon. So let's go to the moon. Um, see what we've got there. Uh, have you gotten to Baldur's Gate? Seems right up that alley. Yes, I I have. Um, the trouble with Baldur's Gate is that at the moment I don't have the most time for. Oh, flip! I don't have the most time for it. Uh, I've been quite quite busy with uh, my studies, which is really upsetting because it means that I can't do the things that I want to do all the time. Um, so I, I have Baldur's Gate, I want to play it, but yeah, I, I will have to find some other time for it, which is kind of sad. Land, and the rock, there we go. good stuff. Um, what about you, Seen? Are you going to give that a shot? Oh, uh, that was a terrible idea. Get back in. Okay, um, I'll be heavy lurking, busy, busy. No worries at all, Kit Kats. You're more than welcome to be here. Um, I hope work isn't too, too bad for you. Ask a signal scope. I think we've done this one. Something strange coming from Timberhaar. Feldspar's harmonica. So, a um, a seed landed on Timberhaar, and we listened to it, and the harmonica was coming from there. But they also said the harmonica was coming from elsewhere, which was Feldspar, which was over on the seed place? The... What was that? Um, Dark Bramble. There we go. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. If I'd posit the Atler Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies, to follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed in other astral bodies in the solar system. Okay, so there might be more Dark Bramble bits about. That's where we want to go. Let's focus on the eye. That is the eye, isn't it? Um, I don't think so. Maybe at a later date. It seems a bit m too um, much for me. You and Tortle would be in agreement on that, I'm sure. Okay, so what have we got here? Which planet is that? Um, yeah, so I played Divinity 2 first. That's the sun. Okay, so that symbol is the sun. Take that, see where that is. Giant's Deep, maybe? Um, yeah, I played Divinity 2 Original Sin first. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know some don't. Okay, so we need to find out who's playing that. That's... Windy? Very windy here. We need to find out who's there. That'll be our next mission. Who's over on that one? Um, dear, oh, hold on. Dear monologues, how many shots do I need to have to have enough riz to make my mum watch Spider-Man No Way Home? She loved it but can't remember anything about it and makes me sad. Uh, she has Disney Plus and I want her to get max value. I think you could just do that. I think you should be fine if she enjoyed it. Surely you can just convince her. Shotless. 
Um, great game. Yep. Yep. It's also a great game. Uh, I played Divinity 1, never finished it. Welly McWellington was my fave. I have no idea who that is, but they sound like a... Right back. They sound like a, a hoot, as one might say. Um, I did think about playing Divinity 1, but I, I feel like I did okay with Divinity 2. Never points to a direction. The eye has stopped calling out its signal. Calibrated it wrong. It is calibrated right. It cannot locate the eye. We need a more sensitive device. We will search for where we can do it. And I know that they made another observatory. This is just me having a little look around, seeing what we can see. Where should we build it? It needs to be larger. Uh, built a quantum moon locator. But the heat of the sun made its construction. So Ember Twin has a quantum moon locator. Southern Glacier on Bristle Hollow has ample available space. Southern Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow's Brittle Hollow's South Pole. We'll go and check that out. So, priorities. We've got Brittle Hollow's South Pole. We might be going back over stuff that we've done, but this this will be fine. Because it will be a nice reminder for everyone, including myself. Let's land over here. Oh jeez, that really scared me. Hello. Oh hey, it's you! Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Okay, I I I you know everything about that. Thanks, Eska. Um a talking well, sure, that's very divinity. Very, very divinity. I particularly like the uh, Sir Laura and Quercus from Divinity 2. Okay, we've launched from here. Let's go to Ember Twin, shall we? Okay, we're going to go to Ember Twin, and we're going to see if we can find that quantum moon locator. I imagine we don't have too much longer alive. I'm going to hit that sun. Yep, 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 yep. Don't go towards it, then. Don't go... We have plenty of time left alive. So we could explore anything we want at any given moment, which is really the beauty of, you know, being alive and having so much time to do this stuff. Uh, which is great. Really great. Okay, okay, here we go. Up we go. In we go. So, do we fancy going for Brittle Hollow? Not, not the sun, please, not the sun. We have approached where I want to be, kind of. Okay, let's go to Ember Twin. They'll have the the uh, quantum moon locator on there. So I remember we explored Ember Twin for for some time, and we found quite a few bits and pieces. Let's see what else we can find on here. Where is that quantum moon locator? That's a crashed ship. Which I imagine we must have explored, right? Yeah, that's how you get in. Remember. Is this the quantum moon locator here? Doesn't look like it. That's where the door's closed. We'll land here. 
Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. So I remember this is the power area. Okay, right. We might have to kind of just work some bits and pieces out again. Go on, get yourself up there. There we go. Freeze detected, that's fine. I was a little bit nervous there, I'll be honest. Okay, yeah, we've been here. I believe it was this way? No, not this way. Where am I? This way. There, that way. Okay, I don't think we've been quick enough, so we can see what we can do here. So I remember we go this way and we get into the thing and what we can do is we can go down to the bottom and we can go to the high energy lab. The high energy lab reveals quite a bit, if I recall. Okay. There we go, across here, through here, no worries. No problem. See, we're doing okay. We're back on track. Okay, come on. Do I have to go all the way down here? Yes, I do. There we go. High energy lab. Perfect. So we actually did make it in good time, which is nice. Continue on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I remember, this has to fill up before we can go through. Could be wrong. No, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Definitely right on that. Okay, that's fine, we'll wait. Um, SK. I don't think I've watched that Spider-Man. Is that the second one? Or the third one? I watched the first one. I don't remember watching the second one, but maybe I did. Um, I don't know if there's been a third one. There are others that are definitely more qualified at telling you that. Can I fly over? Is that what I should be doing? Not what I should be doing, I should be going back down here. Ow. We need it to fill up over that and then we can go across. Go. Get ready. Ready? I know, but we just needed to get across. Let's go. Okay. Onwards. Onwards, onwards, onwards. Um, is this where I fly over? There we go. Wait. Not around that way. Oh, jeez, I'm lost. This way, this way, this way. Cool. Good. We're back on track. And then we fly in here and we go up. Okay, this should be where we want to be. High energy lab, do I have to make it up to that bit there? Mm. Okay, hold on. Three minutes of oxygen remaining, I can get that. Okay, there we go, no problem. 
Jump, 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 jump. There we go. And we're in. Perfect. Okay, so this is the high energy lab. The Noma here at the desk. So if I remember correctly, what we can do is we can put a warp core in there. Another warp core in there. Then do I have to turn it on? I do. And then what I do is I can fire in the scout and it comes out the other side. That's right. Okay. Records show no my arriving at the warp receiver in Bristle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is the negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will be first pair will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It's possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the correspond corresponding black hole. Put that scroll down. Down. How do I put top scroll? This one in. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly and arrival at departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should provide sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to, t to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Rami, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experience. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. So, if we do this then... Then this gives us what we need. Because you can see that there, you can see that there, look at that. So before it goes in, it's coming out. Which is very cool. Okay, let's see. Is there more in here for us to explore? There is, there is. Another no my out there. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it's actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, we're currently unable to generate necessary energy. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed location, proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas. Energy current. Got it. Got it. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you who's air form. Right, let's grab that. I think we're, we're really remembering everything that we have to do. So these are the different locations on Ash Twin. Warp. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the ones we have on Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp location. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. The, we can model the Timber Hearth Tower over a geyser mountain. Hope Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. That's busy. Okay, so that means that all we have to do is go to Ash Twin every time, and then we can get warping. That's all we need to do. Yeah, lovely. So each time we just go to Ashwin. What is this? We have ah oh, look. Do we have something that we could 
Then, uh, okay, well, let's get back on our ship. And maybe we'll get flying. We'll just quickly fly across here. Look at that landing. Oh, 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 look. Not what I wanted, not what I wanted. Okay, we're not real realistically we're not going to use our ship again. Let's land it there. Get out. Get down. And go. Can we get in there? We can't. Can we go around? I should have refueled. Let's refuel before we do. That'll be foolish otherwise. It is quite fun seeing my entire um friends that's just playing Baldur's Gate. Clearly a, an appreciated game. Let's go. Oh. Loop. Fly up. There we go. Fly down. Good now. Okay. Good. Some time passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you in idea idea progressing with the sun station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Hi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Rami thinks I'm a gas and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation, idea. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial for you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yarrow. That, at least, we can agree on. Okay, so I need to get through there. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do this. Oh, jeez, am I dead? Okay, well, I think I can get through there, and I think that might be a good idea. I just can't fly very well. I need to see if I can find a way through there by flying. We're evidently trapped in this. Are we being warped back every time? Is our death warping us back? Is that how it's working? We're being warped? Or is something else happening? The Nomai clearly have a lot to do with this. It's just a matter of where they are now, which I would presume is dead, judging by the lack of their presence. Okay, right. Where's Ash Twin? Is that the sun station there? Okay. Let's go to Ash Twin. Stay away from the sun, go to Ash Twin. Let's go. Okay, good, good. Oh, good job. Good job. We dodged quite well there. Okay, let's land here. We'll unbuckle. We'll go explore what we can. Where is this? Stay down, stay down, stay down. We need to find some kind of power on her, which we definitely saw at one point. Let's repair ourselves, because we took quite a bit of damage there. Oh, no. Use there we go. Am 
might it be worth us flying about somewhat? Where is it? There's got to be some... Ah, here we go. There's something. Okay, good. What is this, though? Is this one of the solar panels? No, I don't want one of the solar panels. I want one of the... Okay, we need one of the, the uh, towers, not the solar panels. They go in line. Here we go. This is one. This is the sun that we can't get into yet. Let's follow this round. The sun is the one we want to get into. Maybe we can time it right to get into the sun one. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's a, an idea. We time it right to get into the sun one so that we can step over the cacti without having any issues. We've just got to tuck ourselves in here. What is that? What other frequency have we got? Distress beacon. What's that? Okay. Well, that's clearly something interesting there. We need to go over there. That's our next plan. Right. That's Feldspar? Where are we? This is- this keeps circling around us. Okay, we need to take a look at that, whatever that is next. Where's Feldspar gone? Dark Bramble. Okay. So much to think about in this. So much to think about. Okay, it's coming around again. If we can tuck ourselves in there, this is when it needs to fire, I think. I believe last time we found out that it warps when we're looking at the thing we want to warp to. Oh, my scout got sent through all the way. Okay, here we go. The door is beginning to become apparent. When it does, we can get through. Here we go. Here we go. And we just need to go this way. Oh, we can, we can walk through entirely. We don't even need to worry. Because of the sand. Is that gonna puncture me? No, it's not. Brill. Look at that, folks. That was some ingenious thinking. Okay, now that's open. Okay, let's stand on here and look up. Where is the sun? That's so neat! Oh, isn't that great? I did not realize I could do that. Hold on. Let's get ready. Here we go, here we go. Sun station. Walk me. There we go! I cannot believe that worked. Okay. Okay. Here we are, folks. I've never been here before. This is completely fresh. Two hundred and eighty-one thousand and forty-two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All systems entering sleep. Six minutes thirty-six seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Warning: opens emergency door. Do I have to fly across that? This is tough. I 
can't maneuver into that. Mm, okay. That was difficult. I couldn't maneuver into that there. Okay, I think we're gonna have to just uh, find our way to the ending. Oh, it looks like that's gonna happen quite quickly. I don't know how to do that then. Very fair point, very fair point, Tomahoop. Welcome on in, pal. How are you doing? You see what I'm at here, Tomahoop. You see where I'm getting at. Hold on, let me... You see what I'm doing. I can get there. I can get to the sun station, and then I can't get across. That's that's the problem. We can do this. I hope you're doing well, pal. Good monologue for you as well. I'm convinced that we're we're working these things out. Maybe we don't try that again just yet. Maybe we do try go somewhere else. Um, do we try and go somewhere else from Ember Twin? Or Ash Twin, sorry. Or do we just try and go there? Have we been here? Hollow's Lantern, Bristle Hollow. Did we not say that we were going to look for an observatory on the south side of Bristle Hollow? Let's go and do that. See what we can find. Engage autopilot over there. I wish I could wipe my memory of this game so I could play it again for the first time. I... I hope that I can... Oh, flip. Provide some kind of feeling of playing it for the first time because that is what I'm doing and I'm desperately trying to work out what I'm doing. Is this the south bit here? Is this the observatory on the south part? Looks observatorial. Land here and take a look. Got a few Tom? We do. Does look observatorial. Is this not where we teleport to? To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as what we've built works, and I'm delighted. I knew we could do this. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasaba. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, though it's been a long while since I've jumped through a black hole. Thank you. Okay. Where is the observatory? Is that it there? Nice to know which the southern pole is. Is it the other pole? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How could you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis it could be a shift in the light spectrum. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hol Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Ho Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. So that's the quantum moon. Ship log updated, that's new. Okay. So this is not the side of the observatory. So let's go to the other side. Yeah.
Go to the other side and get some books done. What's this? The quaint little village. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's, uh, and yeah, there we go. Have you played the DLC from who the, for this? Okay, there's a bed there, an old fire. Let's light that. Let's read this. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old know my path that starts across from my campfire inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay. We can do that after. Building straight across. Well, why don't we go to the south pole instead? Stairs leading down. Is this where, where the stairs are in this building that's been overgrown? Okay. Ouch. We have met right back down there. Okay. I bought the DLC a while ago, but haven't got around to playing it. Hey, maybe that could be the next thing for you, Tommy. I don't quite understand that, but let's... We're getting closer to Ryback. Let's remember what you say to us, pal. Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brothel Hollow, but you probably knew that. L lots of history here. It's, it's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How can I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being stuck sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen, listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> that'll be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? Right. I found the Nomai escape pod. Wow. So then, the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the esca escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. I hope we can find out more. Well, we did learn that. Uh... I saw the old settlement. Hard to believe it's still standing, but there it is. It makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Half. I learned something. I saw that hanging city. How was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? This is where they settled permanently on Bristle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build it so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. I learned something. I saw the Sunless City. You mean there's another Nomai city? That's great. How did they keep the sand out of it? They were ingenious. The Sunless City. Two groups. But they must have travelled around the solar system since it can be found on other planets too. Where should I explore? Where shouldn't you explore? Not the black hole. Okay. There's a big dome on the southern pole called the Southern Observatory. You can get from inside the trip. You can't get from- You can't get inside from the surface, trust me I tried, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. I'd love to learn about it. See you later. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, where are the directions? Let's gravity come to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Let's go. Okay. 
I... This is looking positive. Doesn't look like I can get in there though. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Well, I do want to, but... Oh. Yes. That looks positive. Into the tower? Hey, this looks very positive. Entrance. The Southern Observatory. Well, we want to go in there. That's taking us to the surface. We don't want to go to the surface. Right, should we focus on one thing at the time? Southern Observatory. Oh my. Okay, which way takes us? This one? That doesn't look positive. Nor does that. Okay. Well, now that's hardly fair, is it? Okay, well, here we go. Thank you. Very nice and loud. Okay, let's land back here. So we have been here before. This is the Whitehall station, I believe. And we get in this way, right? Yeah. Been that round. Okay, but now we can walk. Warp back. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. Face crystal hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform. If you look up, you can see the alignment happens when it's directly overhead. Why are you not turning? Do I need to make you turn? Is that it? Yes. Has to go in this way. That could be right. Let's go up and check. It is rotating. There we go. Back to Brittle Hollow. There we go. There we go. That was good. And we read this. There's like 0.1 of a second between it. Um, my ship is far away. We want to get into that Southern Observatory, but I don't think we can right now. Because I think the... The entire world has collapsed. Okay, fine. Go back and take the okay. So what is this then? That's the Southern Observatory. So we are here. Power of Quantum Knowledge, the Southern Observatory. Is that right? Gravity Cannon, east 400 meters. Well, let's try. So this is east. That's the Gravity Cannon over there. Does that take us back up? Let's just see. Okay, I think this takes us back up, which is not quite what we want, but... Okay, good. Maybe we can just follow this about, that's my ship? No, fine. We'll just explore a bit more. It is taking us to the gravity cannon, which is good. Not exactly where we want to be, but it is kind of so. Here we go. 
What does this say? The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Can I, can I go to the quantum moon? Activate the gravity cannon. Pull the shuttle home. Ship log updated. Okay. So we've called it back. Can we go and see it? What's this way? Southern Observatory. Okay, so we can get there from here, but we're going to focus on this right now. Okay. I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of the journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the South Pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now though, I understand they build, bear no ill will. The universe is as we are. I am ready. Okay. Eesh, okay. Is this Brittle Hollow still? This is Brittle Hollow. Okay. So what does this do? That just launches us out, and this turns us around. Too sure what ah, stop. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that does, I'll be honest. But um I imagine it does something. Hmm. That must be the way to get there. I just don't know how exactly it does take us to the quantum moon. I don't know anything about the quantum moon in the first place, so... Crossroads, okay. Yeah, I know nothing about the quantum moon, how to get there, anything about it, so... Maybe we'll save that for another time. In the Southern Observatory, are you gonna... Broken? That looks somewhat broken, but let's try. Which way should we take, left or right here? Left looks a little less broken. Try that. Okay, fine. I think I was wrong about it being less broken. Unless, oh, maybe. Your level critical. Okay, well, we're doing it, so. Okay, fine. Ooh, this is how we're gonna have to do it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, the quantum moon was one of the few things I had to look up a guide for, but when reading it's something I probably could have figured out. That's useful to know. Thank you, Tommy. Okay, that's good. We're good, we're good. Okay. Fine, follow this round. Get that oxygen back. Ah, okay. Okay, fine. Can I fly up there? Okay, fine. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, folks. This is uh, nerve-wracking. Um, watch out, you're in space. I am, and you're also in space with me, Lalamo. <laughs> okay, can we fly up there? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. No, no! Okay. 
We can do this. We can get back there when the world is functioning better, and we can uh, we can solve this and work out what's happening. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Okay, good stuff. Cutting it close. Use your suit's oxygen in an ill-advised manner. That's exactly what I'm doing. And... When are we playing Baldur's Gate 3? As soon as I have some time. I think... So this next week I don't have time. Um, but the week after... I almost definitely do. So how does that sound, Lelamo? Two weeks time? And will we be having Nostromo join us? As a go on. A divinity two style. You know, it might be worth me just waiting for the next reset for this, but, um... <laughs> okay, here we go. It's gonna hurt us. It's gonna hurt us a lot. That's fine, the streamer isn't getting the game for a long while, I think. You think you're reasonable, it is quite a expensive game. I got it given to me for my birthday, so I understand that. Um, that's fine. Totally cool with that. Okay, the plan is, folks, we go to Bristol Hollow. We get to that... Thank you. We get to that South Observatory. And we see what we can do there. Thank you very much. Hold on, one sec. Let me get my suit on. Thank you very much, SK, for the bits. Cosmos are delicious. Thank you. Very strong cranberry taste at the end. Nice. I presume you didn't make a, the one that I would have had, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll bear that in mind. You like your your bitter, bitter cocktails. Gage oil. Oh, there we go. Lalamo, I am... Um, I got the DLC for this, so I'm quite excited to, to play a bit more. I wanted your opinion of if I should play the DLC at a specific time, or what? I don't know what you advise on that. Should I wait until I explore everything? Um, I know you haven't played it, um, but I wondered if, if it would have been discussed at all. So if this is the gravity cannon, should I not just walk down this? Because this is how... Um, I'm still waiting to start this gosh darn job, so I don't even know what my schedule looks like. Well, I'm happy to work around you when it gets to, to that, because I know that it can be difficult to... Um things in a schedule so as soon as you know feel free to let me know brittle hollow projection stone what have we got it's the tower of quantum knowledge okay that doesn't help me much but uh thank you let's go down let's put that in there first hold on as soon as I find something to do, I'm like, oh, let's find another thing to do. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you can follow the path, if you follow the path west to the crossroads roads and reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the direction bells. I'll see you soon. Okay. Oh, ship log updated. I want to go down. No, not, not up. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's head this way. This is the south observatory. Oh, no, sorry. Fire that off. Let's go. Um, it's just a shot's worth, so not too much to enjoy. Uh, but my mom wants to remember no way, way home, so I'm hyped. There we are, good stuff. Good to hear, SK. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think it's probably best to do it after you finish the game for real. Okay, thank you. I, I figured that probably would be best. But, okay. but I've just confirmed, just to make sure. Okay. Here we go. This looks like I'm going the right way, which is good. They wouldn't have made it so that only when it breaks do you go the right way. Surely. This was nerve-wracking last time. It'll be nerve-wracking this time. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Nice. Okay, and this is broken, so we jump across. Cool. I'm up here. Jump. Okay. Follow this. Follow this. Drop down here. Okay, we fly across to there. Then up to there. We try that. Get into that cave there. Stop, stop. Oh, that's fine. No, this cave here is not where we want to go. I want to fly back across. Here we go. Get yourself ready. There we go. Good stuff. Back across to here and then up to there. Here we go. Okay, good. Okay, up. Now up to that, and then that's us home free. Good. Southern Observatory, here we are. Oh, I'm excited. Giant's Deep Protection Tone. Let's pop it in here and see what they've got to say first. Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sunk beneath the current. We've done this. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using, using the other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Conoy, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Quantum Cannon, and one at the Gravity Cannon, and the one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So we're here. Conoy, you should have seen this. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the, below the current, current, but ours sank straight to the core. There we go. Let's take this and let's do this just to see. Is that going to show here? Oh no, that's going to Got it. Oh, I'm very excited. Well done. This place is really tricky to find. Thank you, Lenoir. I feel pretty good about it. Is that like a, a big hole there? Good morning, danger. Welcome in, pal. How are you doing? Kasaba's construction yard has been using the cyclones and giant steep to lift the orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on giant steep rotate clockwise. There are the cyclones Kasava typically uses, these are the cyclones Kasava typically uses, to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude spire, Conoy has shown me your handiwork, and I am intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Very good. But this is the... Down one, this is the up one. Up. Down, 
Okay. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, I'm excited. This means that I'm working stuff out, folks. I've actually got further. Oh. The twin. Am I building the universe? This is cool. So, okay, hold on, let's just see what we've got. So we've got Ember Twin and Ash Twin, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, and the Eye of the Universe. And it doesn't know where it is. Oh, hold on, but we do. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Hold on. Jeez, okay. Because this is where we've been told we can track it. How should we change our methods to ch How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pai about the technology they're developing? We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build a cannon and orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay. So even though they built this here to try and work out where the eye is, they couldn't find the eye. This is like the thing that they did. They set up trying to find where the eye is. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atla Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware, I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than when you were, were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. That would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. What if I... just have giants deep? Still nothing. That was worth a shot, though. Uh, I considered getting the planets tattooed, but I feel like loads of people have done that, and I want to be a truly unique flower. I think that's very cool, though, Lelamo. I would love that. I'd love to see that. Okay. Well, that's given us a lot to think about. I'm here! I did it! I put the ship down safely. Um, in that... The ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door's broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to find a way down. Okay, so we need to get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge at some point. Is this my ship? No. This must be Rybeck's ship. Okay, so... The Tower of Quantum Knowledge is beneath the surface. And there must be a way to get into that too, right? But I haven't found out about that. Should we mayhaps try and find out a bit more about 
dynasty. We see what we can do then? Maybe? We do a little giant steep exploration. I'm just gonna fly across to this here. That's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm fine. Bit, just a bit shaken is all. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm, I'm working it all out. Okay, walk along here. Ooh, don't miss it. Go forwards, forwards, forwards. Down! Ow. You're level critical. Well, that's fine. There we go. Okay, fine. If you were to get one of the t uh, planets tattooed, Lelamo, which would it be? I had one to pick from. Or would you want them all? Spinning, nice. Here we go, here we go. Launch us. Okay, the ship is still as far as it was. We'll head to it. Take us a bit, that's all. There it is. Thank you. What do you mean I can't get up there? Okay, well, we can definitely try. Oh, here's a little bit there. We can refuel here now. Uh, refuel. Back out. I think I saw a little something here. Oh yeah, this is where we were. Okay, so can we find a way to get us to the quantum moon? So we've used this currently resting at the quantum moon. Pull the shuttle home, which we've done. Oh, is this us sinking now? Flip. Well. Uh... What the hell? What is that? How did we end up in our ship? How did we end up in our ship? That's kind of wild. Okay, I won't question it. Okay, let's go for the, the interloper. Just to... Get us looking about, see what we can do. Oops. You go. We'll just land on it whilst we have a little bit of time just to see what's happening. That's we're going too quick. We're going too quick. look around. Not much gravity here at all. No. Ooh, stay on it. Stay on it. What have we got here? Oh, hello. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. 
Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Because one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. That would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate. Okay, so if we recall the shuttle, we should be able to get in. If we recall that shuttle to Ember Twin, and then return to the interloper, we'll be able to get into the interloper. Is that right? Okay. Is that Dark Bramble? No, that's the white hole. Where am I? Where am I? There's the sun. Going deep. Ash twin. The ember twin. Good. Okay. So, I don't know. Ember twin. I don't know how that'll work. Hmm. How long do we have with the sun as it is? Is that going to go in front? It is, good. I don't know where the uh, gravity cannon is either. You can see their atmospheres. Let's see if we can find the gravity cannon. Oh, jeez. Here it is. Oh, bro. Land right here. Unbuckle. Get out. We're on a limited... Okay. The two things we want to do are go to Giant's Deep. We want to go to Giant's Deep. And we want to... Go to the... Interloper. Right? That timber half. Let's get out and we'll just have a little look around. So I think this is the twins. We're on one of them, so that's fine. This is the sun station. Should we go to the sun station? Is this a terrible idea when the sun is about to explode? Yes. Should we do it? Is there a better time for us to do it? No. Let's do it. Oh, there is a better time for us to do it. It's when we're not going to die from being got by. It. When we're not going to die by being killed. That's when the better time is not to do it. Have you died to forgetting to put your suit on yet? I've got out and then I've been like, oh, flip, and gone back in again. But I don't think I've died to it yet. I've died very quickly multiple times. I've driven straight into the sun. Okay. Okay, we're gonna just take a trip to Giant's Deep. We're just gonna see. What's that Giant's Deep? What we're we gonna do, just quickly a, a quick trip to Giant's Deep. That's all. Just a quick trip to Giant's Deep. Just a quick one. Okay, okay. Suit on. Let's go. This might be the last trip, folks, but it's gonna be a quick one. Dark Bramble. Sun. Trying to see. Close map. There you are. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. We've worked something out here, so we need to look for a, an anti-clockwise cyclone. There's probably so much more to explore on Giant's Deep, but this is what we're going to do first. evidently someone here that I haven't met as well.
Here we go. Brace for impact. Okay, okay. So this one is going clockwise. That one's going clockwise. That one's going clockwise. That one's going clockwise. That's going that's going anti-clockwise. Here we go. Yeah, I'm really frightened. Exit ship to repair damaged electrical systems. I just don't think that's a particularly good idea, do you? I'm in 30 plus hours in the game and I haven't finished it yet, nor have I. Okay, okay folks, get ready. I don't think this is a good idea. Okay, okay. Well, let's repair those damaged electrical systems then, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Electrical systems, good as new. Yeah, no problem. Get back in. There we go. They're gonna shock me again. So like, the trouble is, I feel like if I go out there, I'm going to die. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Is there maybe a different route in that doesn't involve being shocked? Um, do we have to kill that jellyfish or something? I'm a little bit nervous, folks. Welcome in, by the way, Raphael. Um, I hope you're enjoying the game. It seems that there's so many different things for people to people to learn. Um, that I would ask how you're getting on. But it seems that we'll definitely be at different points, so it's probably best that neither of us goes, oh, I'm at this point. Don't kill anything, please. This is a game for pacifists. Got it. No killing. Can we not die, please? Maybe the jellyfish have a route that I can get through nicely. Oh. Hello. You emerge from there, I see. Some finger-like projections there. Oh, careful of the jellyfish. Hmm. Oh, careful. Oh, this one goes above the water here. Still probably going to shock us if we go for it though, isn't it? And this is when it's like, there's actually a deep current that you can see in it. It lets you into the core of, of Giant's Deep. All you have to do is not get shocked. By the electric. All right, folks, we might die here, and if we do, we're just gonna we're just gonna take that as a sign that we'll explore this next time. Okay. Just take it as a sign. Okay. That's fine. We're not getting through there. Ooh. All right, Giant's Deep, you haven't yet... <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. Fair, fair play. I'm not too sure what I expected there, but... There's a hot spot that I can go through. I'm going to put that away, I'm going to unbuckle myself, I'm going to go through where the jellyfish is coming out, which is here. It was worth a shot, it was worth a shot folks, don't knock, don't knock it, 
Better not get. I was doing what I could. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, seeing as we've been vastly unsuccessful with the underwater of Giant's Deep, we've got down there, which is a success, I would say. Need to find out a bit more, perhaps, in this convenient landing pad. Is this where someone's singing to us? No, they're singing to us on the other side. Well, let's explore here. See what we've got. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're gonna need your booster here, pal. Uh, statue workshop. Okay. Fine, we've been launched into the sky. Now is not the time to have zero gravity. Let's get some gravity back on us, shall we? Thank you. Lovely. Lovely, thanks, friends. There we go, gravity's back. Brill. We've just launched something, I think. Okay, here we go. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Block says that could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Block specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a test later. Okay. There's another way. Um, okay, there's another way in. We've been told there's another way in, it's just about finding it now. Did we come from this way? We press that. Or did we press this? Oh, I have no idea. There's a no my there. Very pal. Okay. A couple of know my about, which is a bit sad. So this is not the way in. There's another way in. And they know of it. Okay, let's rotate the camera. There's a know my statue in there. Okay. The door doesn't work, so we can't use that. There's the other way. Is the other way in from underneath? So this will probably be what walks us back here. If we... Okay, so if we want to explore this, we'll walk back here. Let's go back to the ship. Okay. This is a, a real wild theory, folks. Clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. All of these are clockwise. There's the anti-clockwise one. Real world theory. Is this is this where we just were? Okay, this isn't where we are. Well, we've been here before, though. Ah, please, don't get caught in the current. Okay, that's fine. We've been caught in the current. Heck, that's not an important one. Good. Uh, let's go back under. Or are we stuck above now? We're stuck above, okay. Okay, in which case, that's not as bad as we could have thought. So this is... Not the landing pad we want. Okay. If we can find, is this the one we want? Yes, this is. Dip under the surface. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. That was what we wanted to do. Cool. Good. Fine. That was a pretty wacky idea, but it actually worked wonderfully. And now the door's open. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look around here then. In my statue. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever's in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Vlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to tell, will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Okay. Nomai, the Nomai, no, ah, that's what they look like. Nomai to the Nomai statue to the Ash Twin Project, back to the Nomai. Okay. Ash Twin Project stuff. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project blocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as if I'm being observed. It's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Hmm. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That means only... Only two are activated? One. Not one. Not one. One. Two. So three of them are activated. Three know my projection stones are active. Am I one of them? How do I get up there? Oh, can I only get up there when it's in the air? Mm -hmm. I think I can only get up there when it's floating. Which I don't know when that happens, but uh, we'll kick about here for a bit and hope that we start to float again. Or I could fly my ship up there. That's a good idea. See, sometimes I do use my brain and I feel pretty good about it when I do. Here we go. Okay, lift off. But only a bit. Only a bit, because we don't want to damage anything. We just want to nip up here, that's all. That's up. Just up here. Okay. Just up there. Knock ourselves up here. There we go. Is this like a... Uh, actually, we re really don't want you to be up there. Maybe consider just waiting until we're floating instead. I'm stuck. Okay, you know what? That is fair. I did kind of deserve that. Don't sink. Okay, how do we get ourselves to be launched? 
They've got these little, um... These, but I think these bring us back down, don't they? I want to go up. I want to be taken up. Is it about to happen? Are we about to be launched? There we go, the ship's down at least. It sounds like there's something nearby. Really want to go up there. Is it happening? Are we going to be taken? Come on. Here we go. Let us get launched. It's not looking positive, folks. Hello, Haribo. Welcome on in, pal. How are you doing? We are... We're brawling currently with a... A planet that we want to launch us into the sky. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Just tuck ourselves in there. Tuck ourselves in. Just in there. Just in in there. How are you doing on this fine uh this fine Sunday? Is it afternoon? Afternoon, yeah. I'm so deep in concentration right now. Let's I feel like it's gonna happen soon. We're going to be launched soon. Come on, launch us up. Launch us up. Launch us up. These are better than your DVD killer faces. Oh, I better focus. Ew, I'm sorry. I bet. Oh. What? The look on my face there must also be relatively intense. Okay, can I? Ah. I want to get up there. I'm sure there's a way to trigger it. Oh, why don't we go out this door and take a look? Can that launch us? That's clockwise. Is that coming towards us? Ah. That looks like it's coming towards us, doesn't it, folks? It's about 300 meters away. Jesus, ages away. Chip log up. Dated. That one's open. It sounds like it's close. It looks like it's closer. That's 100 meters away. Folks, we're about to get launched. It's going to happen. Okay. There we go. There we go. Is this where we want it to be? No, we want it to be up there. Quick, take us over. Take us over. Take us over. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Now take us back down again. There we go. Good stuff. I think we've done it. Lovely. Okay. I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Jeez, okay, that that's just left me more confused, but that's good to know. Haribo, you, you've dropped yourself in at the deep end here, pal. Gravity Cannon. Quantum Moon Solanum Shuttle. Tornado Simulation, Southern Observatory. Ocean Depths, Statue Workshop, Statue Island. Okay, let's take a quick look here. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Right, we know that. The island must be where the Nomai created. The statue's like the one in our observatory. I found a statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. No, my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send the memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin Project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin Project was equipped with a mask, which could send the stored memories back to the user. They were designed to activate once the Ash Twin Project succeeded, or in the event that it 
fails. Well, let's get ourselves out here and uh, <laughs> at the Giants' defense. Whoa, very good. What is this big one for? Then? That's going clockwise. Hello? Let me out. Where is this? I have gone up that maybe? Oh, instead, let's go this way. I've never been here before either. I feel like the sun's about to explode, which is devastating because I found some big things out here. Okay. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or first quantum journey. What? This is a quantum tower. What about the one on? Brittle hallway. Take a selfie. Right, take it again. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Okay. Seek the Wandering Arch. Wandering Arch. No, the sun's exploding, folks. The sun's exploding and the wandering arch is moving. This is a quantum activity. I'm going to have to come back here. Okay. Island shard. Look away from it. And it's there. Okay. Back down we go. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. What? An image or the what? Observing a quantum object and observing an image of a quantum object are one and the same. Hold on. Look away. Where's the image? No! We were working something out here, folks. We were working something out. Next time, next time we've got this. We have it. We have it! <gasps> An image! image of a quantum object and the quantum objects are one and the same yes that feels good that feels good yeah absolutely danger it's a very tomahawk swall moment I feel satisfied with that, folks. I feel very satisfied. Lovely. Very good stuff. Right, that'll be me for today, but hey, you saw we were doing stuff there. That was us getting things. That was us getting somewhere, which is good. Which is very, very good. Um, there we go. Let's get this going just for... Just for the... vibes um right thank you very much folks how fun was that how fun was that i i thoroughly enjoyed that i hope you did um 
I find somewhere to send you for today. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, it looks like we've got somewhere nice to send you. Let's get you on your way. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you um, for the people that reassured me that they did want to see some Outer Wilds, because uh, I really enjoy this. I, I have such fun every time I play this game on stream. So, um, And I've been really wanting to play it for some time. So, thank you. Uh, I'm going to send you on to the Boopy, who is doing some art, and it looks very, very cool. Um, the Boopy is another a good Sunday streamer. Um, so go ahead and drop in. Uh, show them some love. I will... Okay, wait, no, don't do that. The Boopy is ending stream. So go and check out the Boopy. Let's give a little, a little exclamation mark shout out to them. There we go, check them out. And we're going to raid in to someone who maybe isn't ending stream. Okay. We're going to raid in to Hobby Town. Who I hope is doing well as well. Um, I probably will raid and run. So give them some love. Thank you, Tortle, Tomahoop, Lelamo, Danger, Haribo, everyone for nipping in. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Uh, let's not shout out Hobby Town. Let's do one better and raid. Real. Um, thank you, Mouse, for being here as well. I hope your assignment's gone okay. Uh, it's been a lovely, lovely morning, folks. I will be back again soon uh, for more Outer Wilds, maybe? Maybe more Outer Wilds, because I really enjoyed that today. Um, keep an eye on the Discord, exclamation mark, Discord. We will be doing some Barrett Roma in the week. Um, probably Tuesday? I don't know. Uh, I'll put out a little post about that. Um... But if you're interested, even if it's your first time, you can dive in at any time. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, Steen, thank you so much for being here. I love you all lots. I will catch you later. Goodbye. Farewell. Say hello to Hobby Town for me. Goodbye. Farewell. <laughs>